everybody. I am here today with Rocky and we are um, going to work on his separation anxiety. So Rocky is a nine month old golden who has had separation anxiety for a little while. So in the beginning, his owners noticed it when he started chewing the um, baseboards and the door frame. They tried crate training. The number one way to resolve separation anxiety as far as training goes, but you have to make sure that you do it the right way. So they kind of just put him in a crate. He was just barking, going crazy, and busted out of the crate. So he got out of the crate. And I think that this is when a lot of people give up. So that's kind of where we're at. We're going to walk you through today on how to resolve Rocky's separation anxiety. With the help of CBD oil for dogs. I'm going to be talking about the benefits of using CBD oil with dogs with separation anxiety. I'm going to um, walk you guys through how I'm going to use this with Rocky and how I've used it with a lot of my other clients whose dogs suffer from separation anxiety or just anxiety in general. The number one reason why dogs have separation anxiety is because the dog deems you as their safe place. So if you are the dog's safe place, when you leave, of course they're going to go crazy. So it's essential to make sure that you designate that safe place as a crate, a smaller area, um, you know, a, a pen, just a bathroom, something so that they have that safe place. Dogs are naturally den animals and they need that space of their own. You have to make sure to desensitize a dog of it the crate and make it their safe place um, first. Also, I find that people make hellos and goodbyes a huge deal. So if you're saying, bye Rocky, bye, I'm leaving, he's, it's going to get the dog <laughs> in a state of mind um, where there's no self-control. You know, they're like, oh my gosh, something's happening, something huge is happening. So he's all super excited and then you leave. So his mind is in that super ramped up state. So when you leave, he then takes it out on your walls or barking. Um, so, and then also when you come home and make it a huge deal, then it's a huge party like when you get home and that makes you leaving an even bigger deal. Another reason why dogs can have separation anxiety is just due to genetics. So genetically, there are some breeds that tend to have an anxious personality. Other dogs who are prone to separation anxiety are rescue dogs that went from having a horrible life to now the best life ever and they end up being very attached to their owner. Sometimes if puppies are taken away from their litter mates and their mom too early, they also are prone to having separation anxiety. Also, dogs are very routine animals and if their routine is upset by a move, a change in schedule, anything that throws them off, they are susceptible to getting separation anxiety. Um, I see that all the time where a dog is totally fine and then mom goes back to work or a move happens and now they're in a new home um, and the dog suddenly has separation anxiety. I'm gonna show you guys my best exercise for working through separation anxiety in dogs. I am going to desensitize Rocky of the crate using what I call the crate and weight exercise. You want to desensitize him of the fact that he's going into the crate by just going in, turning around, and getting a treat. So this is super important to use the command with this instead of just luring him in here or just, you know, pushing him into the crate. So I'm gonna tell him, Rocky, crate. And then I'm not gonna give him the treat until he's sitting in here. Yes, that was so good. Good boy, Rocky. And I'm going to let him come right out that first time. So you wanna make sure that he's comfortable doing this first, going in instantly like that, which he's never known that command. So that was super quick. If your dog takes, you know, 10, 20 tries to get in there that fast, that's okay. But make sure you work at that level first, because if there's any anxiety that this is going to close, um, you don't want to close it when you're doing this desensitization work. Rocky, crate. Yes, 
Rocky. Good. So now this time I'm going to close it and I'm going to tell him wait right away. So this is the second part of this desensitization process is that we don't want him pawing at the door, having his mind focused on, oh my God, I got to get out of here. And then he gets out. We want his mind shifted to following the command wait while he's coming out. Rocky, sit. So make sure the dog is sitting first. Oops. Yes. Wait. Rocky. Good boy. Good boy. And um, I don't give a treat when the dog comes out. All the treats happen in the crate. What's really important during the wait, Rocky does know the wait command already, so make sure the dog has like a solid base of the wait command with a treat going out their face or with a food bowl going out doorways. Um, or you can teach it right here too. Um, but what's very important with that wait command is that you don't say the release word when the dog is staring at the door or needing to get out. As you could see, I shifted his focus up to me before saying that release word. Crate. Yes, Rocky. Good boy. So now I'm going to increase the time between crate and wait. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the amount of time um, before he gets anxious. So I would say right there, he got a little anxious, paw, you know, nosing at the crate. <laughs> oh, so that behavior gets me to go backwards, find the point before he gets anxious, and then say the wait. But inevitably, you're going to cross that line. So <laughs> if he goes over, and starts barking, getting anxious, go away from him until he stops. But I'm going to try to see if he'll settle himself down on his own and sit. So I'm just going to ignore. So he's not sitting, but he stopped being anxious, pacing around. Now I'm going to direct him to sit. Yes. Wait. Okay. Yes, Rocky. Rocky, sit. Yes, down. Yes, good boy. So that time, that's what you have to do if he crosses that line. So this time, I'm going to not keep him in here. I'm going to decrease the amount of time between the crate and wait to try to just prevent him from getting into that state at all. Rocky! Hi, crate! Yes, Rocky! Good boy! Yes! Wait! Yes, down. Yes, good boy. It's also really, really good to make sure that when the dog comes out of here, after the okay from the wait, you get the dog to sit and ideally lay down so that it's not like, okay, run out and exert all that anxiety, you know, in running around, come out and stay controlled. Try just to increase the difficulty down of that crate command. You can try to, um, give the command from further and further and further away from the crate. I'm incorporating the variable of me walking away as well. Yes, good boy, Rocky. And I'm gonna reward him for that. So when I start to increase time, I'm going to not let him out every single time. I'm going to just give him a treat when I come back, not make it a big deal, just tell him yes for being calm. So just as a little recap, um, 
What the different variables are when you're working through separation anxiety is you want to get that solid crate and weight down first. Then you're going to change, yes, good boy going in there on your own. Then you're going to change the variable of time. So just time with you sitting there. After that, you're going to change the variable of distance. So you can add to that, which will obviously also be um, increasing the time as well. And slowly you'll be able to work your way out um, so that your dog's mind is settled and desensitized. If you're having a really hard time working through separation anxiety with your dog, you have been working on this training and it seems like there is still some anxiety, I strongly recommend adding a, a supplement of CBD oil. So CBD oil is something that I just recently in the past, um, you know, few months have started using and it's amazing. It's just something that helps them relax, take the edge off. It's all natural. You don't have to worry about them getting a high or anything. Also, when I would first put him in the crate, would just stand there and pee and pace around and be so anxious. So we did a lot of this crate desensitization work. Um, and supplemented the CBD oil. And now he loves his crate so much. He's amazing in it. He goes in on command um, and it was a lifesaver with that. I think the biggest misunderstanding about CBD is that hemp is the same thing as pot. So CBD oil is made from the hemp plant um, and hemp does not contain any THC in it, meaning that you cannot get high off hemp. So no, your dog will not be high off of CBD oil. CBD oil should be a complement to your training working through separation anxiety. It should not be a substitute, right? When you are purchasing CBD oil, it should be certified organic CBD oil. Make sure the CBD does not have any additional additives or preservatives. Make sure that there's an expiration date at the bottom of the CBD oil um, to make sure it's fresh as all supplements lose effectiveness over time. Make sure the company has a customer service team that can answer your questions during business hours. My absolute favorite brand of CBD is by InnoVet. Um, I love it because they have different dosage amounts um, that you can choose from. When we started doing the crate desensitization work, I gave Rocky a drop of this. Um, and I think it's really helped in supplement with the training to get him to be able to relax in the crate. Cause as you could see at the very beginning, just me sitting here, leaving him in there for an extended amount of time, he wasn't able to do. And now he's chilling, doing really great. And we'll see what he does when I leave the room. Good boy, Rocky. Good boy. Yes. Rocky down. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, I appreciate your support. So thank you for subscribing um, to my YouTube channel. And also, if you guys would like to learn more about InnoVet and their products for dogs, you can click the link in my description.